Dozens of crashes have shut down an interstate in southeast Louisiana. The local sheriff says the first crash alone involved 18 tractor trailers. Bowen Kodrovitz is in Acres, Louisiana, alongside I-55. Bowen, tell us the latest. Dawn, uh, the Louisiana State Police say that they started receiving calls around 9 a.m. this morning uh, with multiple car collisions on I-55. And you can see behind me right now, you may be able to see some of the crew vehicles and their lights as they still work to clear I-55 here. Now, earlier this morning, the local sheriff's department did say two were dead and dozens more were injured during this pileup but the Louisiana State Police say they are not confirming that. Now, here is a scene from earlier today where you can see cars, trucks, and SUVs pinned in tight. Meteorologist says a dense fog combined with smoke from wildfires creates zero visibility in some spots. Fox 8 in New Orleans reports deputies had to run along the road to, uh, to reach some of the crash sites since their patrol cars could not get through. Some people are still waiting for their friends or family to make it off the interstate. One woman tells Fox her stepdaughter and granddaughter were involved in the pileup. Mark saying, she called me and she said, I've been, we've been in a bad wreck and it's just wreck everywhere. It's just wreck everywhere and she was hysterical. Yeah, but she did say we're both okay. Louisiana State Police say they do not have an official count of how many vehicles were involved in the pileup, and they also add that they don't know how long it will take to clear the interstate. In Acre, Louisiana, Bowen Kudrovich, Fox 32, Chicago.